What is up everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a video on the Factor 4 Pro. Um, this isn't the Pro Plus, it's just our new Pro. Um, so first we're going to start off with the camera, which is new and improved from the Factor 4. Um, it records at 4K 60 frames per second and you can go onto the website to get the other ones. I'll not go into that, but that is the main improvement. Um, it has a one inch CMOS sensor um, with H2564 recording and H265. It um, does 100 megabytes per second um, and has a mechanical shutter to eliminate shutter roll. Um, it has the 360 obstacle avoidance, as you can see, the new sensors on the side, the new sensors on the back and again on the side. Um, the Fanta 4 has the sensors on the front so that is no change but the only thing is I there's no point in me really if it was just the sensors I wouldn't have bought the string because you can only use them in beginner and tripod mode which I never use I don't know why I just don't use it but um it's just there there's no use unless you're obviously a beginner or using it in tripod um, but the battery life has been improved to 30 minutes um, 30 minutes from 25 and one problem I have been encountering is not being able to get the battery it's very stiff I don't know whether it's just this one or not like it won't come out I have to go for some last to get that out but um, that's the only thing I can complain about so far is the battery is very stiff um, so let's talk about the different types right here. So this is the Arnie Pro. The main difference between the Pro and the Pro Plus is that the remote controller has a built-in 1080 5.5 inch screen. I mean, if you live in a country which has a lot of sun, it's always hot, there's always the sunshine in your face, you may want to go for this. It's an extra like 200 pounds. But if you live in a country like Ireland or Northern Ireland or even England where there's 50-50 chance of cloud and sun, it's mainly overcast most of the days and even in the winter, I would just go for this. I mean, that's why I went for that. I wasn't spending £200 on a 1080 screen. I mean, I have an iPhone 7 and the brightness is just, just as having Marilyn and Daddy problems. So that's all good. Um, the ordinary pro model is £1,589 and the pro plus is £1,819 so I would recommend the ordinary one but this, these are the push and twist propellers no problem so far I'm on the wrong way nope <laughs> oh wait I'm putting them on the wrong propeller I mean, wrong word. So you just push them down and twist the right way. And they're on. So there we go. It's a quick process and it doesn't take too long, which is good. Um, so compared to the Phantom 4, the Phantom 4 had a 1 and 2 thirds sensor. Um, it had 25 minutes flight time and a 12 megapixel camera and no 360 obstacle avoidance obviously just the front which worked pretty well and the, the obstacle avoidance front ways in this is 100 feet compared to I think it was 50 feet um, on the front before or around that don't quote me on that but um, there's a new feature on the front before pro which is draw so you can draw um, on the map and the front before will follow it I think that's out I'm not sure um, I think it is out but in the coming days I'll be bringing out a couple of videos obviously doing a flight analysis, um, video analysis and how to get set up and just get it in there and um, so subscribe if you would like to see the videos and just subscribe if you are into tech and want to see some more videos I would very much appreciate it if you could hit the like button as well and maybe leave a comment on how I can improve on these videos if you think I can um, I'd just like to thank you for watching this video um, Remember to subscribe, I've already said that, and I will see you guys in the next video.